This epic eight-bedroom house is the result of a couple's search for a sociable home for a large family who host parties and weddings for up to 500 people at a time. Their solution? Build their own. When you're in love with a country like Italy but you love your country more, then why not bring a piece of Italy to South Africa and call it home? This is exactly what the Ghanis did. Combining classic design with the family's Muslim culture, this expansive showpiece was quite a commission for interior designer Amanda Cordell. Wow, this is a spectacular entrance, it very, is, very dramatic. It really is a dramatic entrance and it needs to be because this is an Italian palace. So you want the old world grandeur as soon as you walk in the door. So we've got inlaid with mother of pearl here on the stairway. It was handcrafted and carved by a lady called Kriti Lee from Pretoria. I think she really created that Italian Baroque look. The chandelier was custom made as well with these intertwined rose petals. And so Peter Metal Studios introduced those rose petals again within a classical format of a balustrade coming down the stairs. Now an Italian home wouldn't be anything without a lot of marble. I don't think any, but any Italian home would be complete without its marble. This is an Italian marble that we used on the floor and it's quite magnificent with an inlay which was also custom made for this client. Again, playing on their rose petal theme. And of course it wouldn't be an Italian house without an atrium. We had Charlie Vittori do a beautiful Trompe Noël painting within it and it allows natural light to come through. So this is a, a practical consideration plus it adds to the aesthetics of the Italian look. I'm starting to feel a very Italian already. Whatever its function, every space was approached as a masterpiece of its own. You know, with a corridor that looks like this, we wanted to create that Italian interest in it. So we've done a dome ceiling with hand-painted effect again, and we created niches going down the passageway for points of interest. The challenge, of course, was to find an 11 meter runner to fit such a grand uh, passageway. The formal lounge looks ready-made to film a period drama. I can't believe my eyes. Every room just gets better and better. Yes, this is also my favorite room <laughs> of the house. The client wanted it to be a traditional Italian home and with the full formality of an Italian villa in the old world sense. So we really went to town with every single detail, with the paneling. The walls were not wallpapered, they were actually hand printed the way it would have been done years ago. We picked up our color scheme, we went with it, and we, we went to every length to get this absolutely right. Italy boasts more world heritage sites than any other country and offers many inspiring ideas. That's a minstrel gallery, that. And in days gone by, you would have had your musicians up there playing for the people that are sitting down in the lounge enjoying it. Adjacent to the formal lounge is Mr. Garni's study. He's a businessman and he often does formal meetings which might spill into the lounge afterwards. We sourced all this furniture from Italy. The bookshelf was specially commissioned for that particular size of study. The coffered ceilings are quite heavily detailed and it was quite a trick to fit in air conditioning, speakers and all the modern modcoms into a traditional Italian coffered ceiling. Can't wait to see what the rest of the house has to offer. Let's go and have a look. On Thursday nights, this is a very popular room. This is the casual area of the house, where the family gather together to watch television. And here is the breakfast area, which spills off the kitchen, and the family eat here breakfast in the morning in this lovely conservatory-like environment. And then down here, we've got the entertainment area. We've got jacuzzi, swimming pool, doors sweeping out onto the lovely garden. I can imagine that this could be one of your favorite places in winter. Absolutely, it's a sun trap here. It is a sun trap. The sunroom has a fantastic view. And what catches my eye from this perspective is the lovely gazebo over there. Yeah, that is almost like a basilica. It's got a copper domed roof, which over time has turned into a lovely verdigris color. And the family do a lot of entertaining there. So it spills out onto the garden and there's a moat that goes around the side of it, which gives you that lovely watery feel. So but speaking of the family, should we go and meet them? Absolutely. The 18-seater dining room table is a necessity. Coming from a family with 10 sisters and his only brother Akbar, Farad Ghani and his wife Famida have a large family of their own who are gathered to celebrate Eid and the breaking of the fast. Why the Italian influence? It loves in our blood. I mean, we're all Italians here. Yeah? We enjoy every bit of Italy. We did quite a bit of travel there through Florence and Venice, we did Milan, and so we tried to put a bit of each in, um, in this house, you know? 
We've been to Verona as well, and I love the warmth, the hospitality, and uh, the people were very beautiful. I, I love the women, the way they carry themselves, and I think I, I fell in love with the place. Italian and Indian dishes are equally popular here, and with every woman in the house a masterful cook, lunch and dinner are not to be missed.